welcome again to today's education. My name is Dwayne, and today we're going to be looking at changes in equilibrium. As you know, equilibrium is when the market demand and supply balance out each other, is where we have market or equilibrium price equaling the quantity demanded. So there is not an excess or there is not a shortage. So whatever is being produced is being used up. Okay, so that's basically what equilibrium is. But then there are cases where things apart from price may occur and it results in a shift of the curve. So as you know, the non-price determinants times for demand are shifters of the demand curve and spent for shifters of the supply curve but let's first look at a shift in the demand curve moving from d1 from d to d1 and this is an increase now when there is an equilibrium price and there is a shift in demand means that more say for example the preference of customers have changed or more customers are in the market and the demand is going up what you find is that if you have more people in the market and you're supplying at the same price you're gonna find that you're, you're gonna find that that at the same price people are gonna demand more because you have more people to supply the goods at the same price and if the supply stays at the same place, then chances are the suppliers might not be able to meet the demands of the, the customers. So let's say, for example, 500 people live in an area uh, for a month, they use 100 breads. Now, it has gotten to 1,000 people and they're still producing um, 100 breads. It means that you're going to need to produce more bread and at the same price quantity is going to um, move up for a time okay but then the suppliers are going to look at it and they're going to feel that okay um, we're unable to to maintain this because there is no a shortage so the first thing that i'm going to put on the graph here is to show that at the same price it remains constant at the same price for a while which you can see here so when there is an increase in demand at the same price then the quantity is gonna be more so let's put that in there all right so what you find here now is that because the demand is more than the supply there is gonna be a shortage right Remember, 1,000 people now living in the area with 100 breads can't work. There is a shortage. So because of that, in order to eliminate you know, the shortage, the suppliers can now ask for more. They can say, okay, in order for us to produce uh, 200 breads then for the 1,000 people living in the area, we'll have to go up with the price. So let's say if we go up with the price of suppliers and move from P, E to P, it now changes the equilibrium price, okay? So the market now regulates itself because now suppliers basically based on the price, because you have to remember the laws. You have to remember the law of supply. When the price is higher, then suppliers are gonna be happy to produce. So at the higher price, they're gonna be able to produce which will regulate um, the market and the result would be now a new equilibrium equilibrium price okay so this is the new one that is the old one all right now on this side we can use let's use supply for a change on this one and we're going to use a decrease because we use demand increase let's use supply decrease so let's say same thing happens in terms of the determinants of supply all right it could be that the factors of production um the prices went up and hence the there there now is a reduction in supply so it moves from s 
to S1. So it means that the suppliers now, they're unable to produce as many products as before because now they're spending more on raw materials. All right, so if we look at it here at the same price, you'll see that they will be able to supply um, not the same as when the market was, you know, normal and everything. Uh, all things were perfect in the market. Now it has changed and there would be a reduction. So because of this now, because of the, the, the supply is now less and there is a decrease this now will cause the equilibrium price to rise and the quantity now demanded would be less okay because when you look at it it, it makes sense if the suppliers will be spending more on raw materials or more on the factors of production probably for labor you know paying people more then in order to recover the costs that they are putting in they probably will need to increase the price so by increasing the price, you'll find that there is going to be a new equilibrium. So an increase in price now will cause a reduction in the demand. All right. So this is basically just uh, changes in equilibrium. It's not uh, difficult, but you know, if you miss something, if I move to quickly a while ago just uh, pause the video when you're watching and you can go over and uh, ensure that you are clear with the concept okay but please remember the law of demand and the law of supply the law of demand is the willingness and ability of a, a customer to, to 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 pay right for for a good whereas the law of supply is the willingness and ability to produce at that price okay so do enjoy the rest of the day Bye.